Could AI save San Francisco? Hundreds of engineers are hoping for that. So we started working on this back in August. We decided to reach out to a number of organizations in SF's public sector to find problems, that to find challenges that we can build tech solutions for. That's when Accelerate SF was born, a project to identify problems in San Francisco and build AI solutions. Over the weekend, more than 100 engineers and people with specific areas of expertise got together for a hackathon to help San Francisco. We really want to make sure that like, this one has an impact on SF. During the two-day hackathon, 22 projects were developed, with three winners that could reshape how the city works. First place was 311 Plus, um, which is an incredible uh, tool where you can just take a photo of if your car had a break in. It takes metadata from the photo to say where and when, automatically fills out the form for you. A key tool considering that there have been more than 17,000 car breaking incidents this year so far in San Francisco, and many go unreported. Second place allowed homeowners and developers to enter an address to check for the expansion potential or ADU eligibility. Third place, an AI tool to make reporting property crimes easier and more accessible. City attorney David Chu was one of the judges at the hackathon. You had a bunch of folks who literally thought over night of what to do and by Sunday afternoon had demos that were almost ready for prime time. Supervisor Matt Dorsey spoke to the group about the importance of data to accomplish real change. So I really wanted to emphasize anything that AI can do um, to make sure that people are connected to their government. The winners received a cash prize but also connections to make these ideas a reality. My thought is that we should pilot some of the things that we saw that were working. Uh, hopefully uh, on the city side people will agree and the more we're able to innovate in different corners of city government I think that can help. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.